Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards. Today we're taking a look at something different. Um, a couple weeks ago, I had someone reach out to me from Magtame. Uh, since I've hit 5,000 or right before I hit 5,000 subscribers, I've been receiving a lot more um, requests to review products that aren't even keyboard related in any way, shape or form. Though some of them have been for things that I'll just say that aren't necessarily legal. <laughs> but we'll just leave it at that. I just ignore those emails or make it very clear for them not to contact me again. But this company, I'd actually had caught one of the reviews from Frank. I forget his channel. Um, talking about this cable. I didn't watch the whole review, but... These are magnetic data cables, uh, charging cables. So they'll work for your phone as well as your uh, keyboard, but they have an interesting property. Uh, they're magnetic and they're self-winding. So I was very interested when they reached out to me and said, hey, would you care to review these on your channel? I, I, I had to say yes, because this is honestly... I know a USB cable, you know, what is it something to make a video over? But uh, I mean, I like it when I see improvements to items we use every day and it makes it that much easier, that much more interesting or that much more useful uh, because of, you know, one feature or another. So today I want to take a look at these. Um, looks like I've got two cables. One of them is a A to C and the other one is a C to C. So let's go ahead and check out the A to C cable or the C to C cable first. Then we'll look at the A to C. So it is black gray and it is a 60 watt cable and it's 1.5 meters or a little over three feet. So yeah, as you can see, there is no strap holding this cable together. But I can go ahead and pull it apart. And then I guess just. I guess I kind of have to give it a little guidance, but I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't know how often I have to go through and untangle cables. Like I'll roll them up and try to keep them neat and put them in a bag and the next time I reach for them they're just wrapped around everything and I'm like what happened but to just have the cable that wraps itself that's pretty cool now these connectors are very nice they seem to have a plastic end meets at the cable and this is like a nylon braided cable so it's one of the better ones and I mean they're actually quite flexible but I love the shape of this connector now there might be some keyboards it might interfere with because it has that bump there but i think with a lot of them it's just going to work i'm like do i have a keyboard handy like say this one will it fit oh yeah hey all right so i guess the hump's just not big enough to matter because it's one of the few keyboards that has a uh more of a recess port so if it works in that one it's going to work in other ones so it works in 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 that mons geek recessed one it should work in a lot of them but i gotta say i like that now let's check the a to c cable out This one doesn't have a, uh, oh no, there it is, 27 watt ATC, silver white, also 1.5 meters. And this one has more of a squarish type design. But we have the, um, for the A port, the design is carried through, even though it, it has the symbol. This usually means up if your port is already orientated in the correct position. This will always be up, but you can always just look for the windows. 
if uh, unless it's upside down, you don't want to see the closed eyes, or as I like to call them. But this is an interesting one. This is a flat cable. I'm actually quite fond of flat cables. Do they have any interaction? Oh yeah, hey. So I can actually, if I needed to carry two cables, I guess I could just blend them together. <laughs> Although this one kind of goes different. Oh, and it's going inside. But that is an easy way to stow a cable, I gotta say. And yeah, if I wanna carry both of these cables, they feel solid, too. All right. Out of sheer curiosity. 69 and a half grams. Yep. What about this one? 91, almost 92 grams. Well, I'm definitely going to be using this for my laptop, which has a uh, basically just a USB chuck, but it's a, uh, I believe it's 50 or 60 watts. So this cable can handle that. So I'm going to use this as my power cable. Um, it'll just, because the, the chuck will literally fit in the inside diam diameter of this. And I can, this is, uh, I might just print out a little case for it or make a little pouch where they could sit in. And that will be the power for my laptop. Because I'm usually never too far away from an outlet. Yeah. I usually carry a mechanical keyboard with my laptop, but I usually carry carry a wireless one. No reason why I can't use this one and just make a pair, um, especially if it needs charged. Being able to just wrap it like that, that, that is just, that is a neat feature. And this is definitely something that I will be using. I, to be honest, I'll probably order some some for my some more for myself and for my family because i mean i know my kids have come to me at least at one point or another and is there a better way to, to store usb cables so they don't become a tangled mess and i've always just been like uh, use use the ties the twisty ties and they're like those twisty ties they get lost um they get stripped this this is <laughs> this is pretty convenient I want to thank uh, Magtame. I don't you know. I'm probably saying that wrong. Magtame, Magtame, or Magtame. I'm gonna think Magtame because you're taming with magnets. So Magtame, I think to me makes sense. But they actually have a U.S. patent number. Uh, they're definitely neat. Um, I like that they have the power rating on them. So I'm gonna assume that these are are, are well made. Uh, I don't have my USB tester. It died. I need to order me a new one. But I may come back and do a follow-up after I've been using them for a while. But I, I find them uh, to be very nice. And like I said, I, I'm i going to use one for my... I keep this in my laptop bag. For one, they don't take up much space at all. And it's not going to get bundled up. But for two, like I said, the chuck charger will fit inside of this diameter and this will work for my wireless keyboard if i need to charge it and i'm gonna get some good use and i like that they actually can stick to each other so i can just grab them both at once or throw them together in the in my knapsack and go so anyway i uh, just a something a little bit different uh today uh i hope i didn't bore you too much but these are the cables. I will provide links down in the video uh, description below. If you guys would like to see me branch into you know, more accessories, more technology, let me know. I, I think that's something that might be fun for everybody. Um, like I said, I, I always keep my reviews honest. And I'm, I'm not afraid to call something out, especially if I see it and if I don't think that it's fair. But I do like the chance to share um, well-made products and products that deliver, uh, and that from companies that stand behind their product until the next transmission, keep calm and keep word on.